What happens when empaths get angry with narcissists? Narcissists will regret everything. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're delving into a topic that sheds light on the covert tactics of narcissists. Stay tuned as we uncover the one very predictable thing that covert narcissists always do. But before we dive in, let's distinguish between overt and covert narcissism and explore the subtle signs that can help you identify covert narcissistic behavior. If you're ready to gain insights into navigating these dynamics, let's get started. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Silent Treatment Empaths often deploy the silent treatment as a means to express their anger without engaging in direct confrontation. This approach allows them to maintain a peaceful exterior while subtly communicating their displeasure to the narcissist. While empaths are typically known for their kindness and reluctance to highlight others' insecurities, the silent treatment can serve as a powerful signal of their frustration. In some cases, empaths may even confront the narcissist directly, exposing their vulnerabilities and unsettling their manipulative behavior. Number 2. Confrontation with past mistakes When pushed to their limits by the narcissist's manipulative tactics and deceit, empaths may resort to bringing up past mistakes and transgressions. This direct confrontation forces the narcissist to confront their actions, often triggering feelings of shame and discomfort. Unlike narcissists who deflect blame onto others during conflicts, empaths firmly hold the narcissist accountable, presenting logical and incontrovertible arguments. By clearly attributing fault to the narcissist, empaths challenge their manipulative tactics and make it difficult for them to evade responsibility. Number 3. Walking away Empaths often choose to walk away from the narcissist as a method of managing their anger. This action allows them to disengage from the situation, providing space to calm down and avoid escalating conflicts. By opting to remove themselves from the interaction, Empaths assert their boundaries and refuse to be drawn into further manipulation or confrontation. In some cases, this initial withdrawal may evolve into a decision to sever ties with the narcissist entirely. This decisive action protects the empath's emotional well-being and serves as a significant consequence for the narcissist, who thrives on maintaining control and attention. Number 4. Impact on Surroundings When empaths experience anger, their emotional state can influence those around them. They may exhibit signs of irritability or aloofness, which can be surprising to individuals accustomed to their usual warmth and empathy. During these periods, understanding and support from others are essential. While uncommon, empaths may reach a breaking point where they express their anger more forcefully. This can manifest in raised voices, harsh language, or even physical gestures such as throwing objects. Such outbursts typically stem from accumulated frustrations and suppressed emotions. Number 5. Emotional Breakdown In moments of overwhelming anger and frustration, empaths may experience an emotional breakdown. This can manifest as uncontrollable crying, as they release pent-up emotions and articulate the sacrifices they've endured. Such breakdowns serve as a culmination of the emotions they've been suppressing. In severe instances, empaths may internalize their anger, leading to self-destructive behaviors or thoughts of suicide. This tragic response occurs when empaths feel unable to express their anger outwardly without feeling like they're betraying their empathic nature. It underscores the profound emotional impact of enduring ongoing abuse. Thanks for joining me today as we explored five ways empaths express anger in narcissistic relationships. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for maintaining emotional well-being and setting healthy boundaries. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on navigating complex relationships. I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's topic, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Have you experienced any of these methods of expressing anger in your own relationships? How do you cope with challenging dynamics? And remember, sharing is caring. If you know someone who could benefit from learning about empathic responses to narcissistic behavior, be sure to share this video with them. Lastly, 
hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future uploads. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, take care and stay informed.